Surprise attacks by Hamas militants from the Gaza Strip launched the current fighting with Israel. But the origins of this conflict stretch back generations. Tammy Jacoby is a political science professor at the University of Manitoba who specializes in the politics of the Middle East. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. You live in Winnipeg now, but you're actually an Israeli citizen. Other than the concerns you must have for friends and family, what worries you most about this conflict? What worries me is escalation. Um, I have friends on both sides, colleagues, family, so I'm, I'm devastated and I just hope that this doesn't escalate beyond the Israel-Palestine conflict. We have seen bombings back and forth in the past quite often. What makes this fighting more concerning and seem so much more intense? Yeah, I'm glad you said that this has been a cyclical conflict. It simmers and then flares up from time to time, but this one is qualitatively and quantitatively different. I know there are conspiracies going around, but the Israeli intelligence services were unprepared. And this time Hamas, which is the Islamist resistance movement in Gaza, had at their disposal uh, the quantity of weapons was astounding and th that they were able to break through the security barrier um, was, was very shocking. Is there an easy way to explain the history of this battle between Israel and Hamas? Well, it started out as a, um, I don't mean to downplay it, but it's like a real estate conflict. Both uh, the Jewish nation and the Palestinian nation um, are fighting over the same territory and they've been building facts on the ground um, to their own benefit for, as you said, generations now. We tend to talk about people as being pro-Palestinian or pro-Israeli, but how much of this is actually that black and white? Well, I don't see it as black and white. I've been studying this for 30 years, and uh, I would say that most of it is gray because um, despite the social media and the, the news uh, reports on it now, this has been going on for a long time. It's cyclical. It's very nuanced, and people don't really understand the background of this conflict and the divisions within the Palestinians, within Israel, and the diasporas of both communities. So there are more actors than just two. Who else could be involved? Well, Egypt and Saudi Arabia have offered mediation services. Uh, the United States is, uh, the Secretary of State is visiting now. Um, and um, Saudi Arabia has been in touch with Iran, I guess, to make sure that they don't uh, get involved more than they have already. And so I, I don't think that it's going to escalate beyond the Middle East, but I just hope that any third party intervention is to moderate rather than pour fuel on the fire. Now, I remember past rounds of moderation of negotiations, which aimed at what they called at the time a two state solution where both Israel and Palestine would agree to exist as states and coexist. Do you believe that's still possible? Well, I grew of age in the 90s when a two-state solution was the only solution considered. And that has become uh, much less popular now uh, for a variety of reasons. The Palestinians want one state, a Palestinian state. Um, the Israelis want one state, an Israeli state. And it's, it's very difficult to see uh, what kind of state the Palestinians would have since their two political parties, Hamas and Fatah, Fatah is uh, in charge of the West Bank, are in charge of territories that are not contiguous. They, they, they can't build a state on the kind of territory they have, particularly with Jewish settlements dotted throughout the West Bank. How hopeful are you that we're going to see peace or at least a cessation of fighting soon? I hope there's a ceasefire um, immediately, but um, I don't see it uh, coming very soon. And, and as, as a, for a resolution, I'm sure there are better minds than me to think about how to resolve this conflict in de <clears throat> uh, definitely. Tammy Jacoby, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching the CBC Manitoba YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. For the latest breaking news and top stories, download the CBC News app.